Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can test our, um, let's say, Linux server on Windows. So basically, uh, in my case, I'm going to test the Linux server, but it's gonna be pretty much the same for testing the Linux client. So uh, I'm assuming that you have already installed WSL. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. In my case, I'm using Ubuntu uh, at 20.04 LTS. You could use any other versions. Um, if you haven't installed it yet, just make sure to follow the link on the video, on the description of the video down below. It's gonna be so easy. Okay, so enough speaking and let's get started. First of all, we need to package our Linux, uh, let's say Linux server. And then we need to place the uh, Dynamic Server System inside the same folder of Linux server. In my case, I'm going to test uh, DSS Lite version 2 but you might be working on another type of projects or maybe you want to test your clients so make sure to copy it inside C because actually inside WSL you will be able to access the folders on C our uh, files located on Unreal Engine 4 server so what I'm gonna do now I will go back to uh, WSL and try to copy those uh, folders and files in order to be able to access them uh, now I'm working on the uh, home directory. So I'm go back twice, and then you need to go to MNT, then you go to C, and here you will find your uh, folder. Okay, so make sure to copy it to wherever you want. For In my case, I'm gonna copy it to the home directory. So I'm gonna type sudo cp minus r, and then it is here, and then I wanna copy it to the uh, root directory. Sorry, to the home directory. Okay, we wait for a moment. Good. So now, so now we, we, we are going to go back to the home directory. Uh, we need to give access on this folder and all of its content to our user or to all of our users. So in my case, I'm going to give it to all of our users because it's going to be simpler for everyone to follow up with this tutorial. So I will be typing sudo ch mode. And then all users, ras, read, write, execute. And then you need to specify your folder. I will be copying it from here. Okay, cool. Now we are gonna go to uh, our folder and here you will be able to see all of our files. Pretty much the same as the files that we was uh, browsing here on the Windows. So we need to, uh, let's say, uh, change the Linux server system configuration. So first of all, we need to figure out where our Linux server located. So let's follow up the uh, directories here. Okay, here we go. So you need to copy everything after Unreal Engine 4 server. And then let's go back to the home directory. Now we need to edit app settings.json. Okay, since we are not using uh, Windows, so there's not gonna be anything like C or D, we are just going to uh, paste the directory here. And then since we are working on our current directory, we are gonna add dot, and also we are working on uh, Linux, so there's nothing called .exe here. We're gonna save everything, and now let's try to uh, start Dynamic Server System. Uh, okay, there we go. Dot backslash, and then okay, and here DSS uh, is going to launch two servers, and then you can see that those two servers connected. 
So now we are going to go to our client to be able to test. But before that, let's take a look at the game servers inside um, inside the game instance. So we have just one server and the server is pointing to the local host. If you are using the latest version of um, WSL, you are going to use the local host. Otherwise, you might need to use the IP of the virtual network that is created for WSL. Okay, so now I'll be going back to uh, my, let's say, uh, client. And let's try to connect. Okay, here we go. So you can see that we are able to connect and for example, you can travel between servers with no issues whatsoever. Thanks for watching. See you on another video.